Hi guys and welcome back to my course. In this video, we will explore the project structure and the files created by Create React App. So open the project in your VS Code, click on this Explorer. So this is the project structure created by Create React App for our React application. Let's talk about this first directory, Node Modules. So it contains all the dependencies or packages which are installed by Create React App to build and run your React application. Then we've got this public folder. In here, you've got the index.html file. So this is the HTML file which is used in single page applications to load all the remaining content dynamically. Then we've got fav icon for your browsers. Then we've got a manifest file. So inside this manifest file, we've got an object. So this object contains details for your application. If you're building a PWA or progressive web application. Then we've got robots.txt file. You can also have your sitemaps here. So anything which is going to be directly used inside your HTML or index.html file can be put here. Then we've got this package hyphen lock JSON file. So it contains the details of all the dependencies installed along with their specific versions. Similarly, we've got another file package JSON. So it contains some more details about our application. So the name of the application, the version, dependencies with minimum versions, some scripts, uh, browser lists, so which browsers to support in production, which browsers to support in development, etc, etc. Don't worry if you don't understand these things, we will talk about them throughout the course. Then moving on to the final directory SRC or the source directory. So this is where we write all our code. So let's start with this index.js file. Let's also open index.html. So if you see here, we've got this div with ID root. So this index.js file, it mounts our entire application inside that root div or the div with ID root. So as you can see, it is using this library React DOM. So this React DOM library is used to manipulate the browser DOM. So right now what it's doing in this line is it's mounting our application component in the division with ID root. Again, don't worry if you don't understand all this code, we will be talking about this in the coming videos. So let's move on to this app component. So as you can see, we've got a file with a function and inside that function, we've got a return statement and inside that return statement, we have this code, which looks like HTML, but it's not. Again, we will talk about it in the next video. So just know whatever we write inside this return statement is shown in the browser. So as you can see here, we've got this screen. So if I remove all this, so I'm just leaving the image, let's save it. So coming back now, as you can see, only that image is left in the browser. So that's all for the project structure. In the coming videos, we will talk about this code, what it is, what it's called, and we'll create our own components and we'll have a lot of fun. So I hope this gave you a bit of idea of all these different files and why they are created. And that's all for today. But if you have any doubts or queries, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to me on Twitter. I'll add my Twitter handle in the description below. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.